Shut up and sit down. Hey, it's the Death Man from Death Man Vinyl here to talk with you about wet cleaning your vinyl. So I hope you've watched part one of this series where we talk about how to bust the dust on your records using a few simple tools. So if you watch that one, you know that my mantra is never start wet, always start dry. So by that, I mean that we always get the dust out before jumping in with a record cleaning solution. So never start wet, always start dry. Why? Because liquids plus dust equals mud. The other thing to keep in mind is we don't randomly start spritzing and spraying record solution on our records. Truth is they don't always need a bath or, or really even a shower. So I generally only whip out the record cleaning solution in one of three cases. So one is if they're fingerprints, two to get rid of smudges, and three if there's mold or just really a high level of schmung on a record. This one, my favorite Rolling Stones record, was in uh, deep storage down in the basement for a while. Uh, so it's it's really kind of grungy. Um, so in those cases, I'll go to wet cleaning, usually with a record cleaning solution. And a lot of mystery over what's in record cleaning solution. Well, the reality is that record cleaning solution is not some witch's brew of mysterious chemicals. There are really are just generally two types, alcohol-based, and non-alcohol based. So alcohol based record cleaner evaporates quickly, uh, leaving little to no residue behind. And it's generally safe for most records. Non-alcohol cleaning solutions are essentially distilled water with some form of a surfactant in it and some kind of cleaner degreaser. Now surfactant is a big word, but it's essentially a chemical that breaks down the surface tension of the liquid so that it'll disperse into the grooves of the record. So for more about record cleaning solutions, check out my short breakdown. Uh, I'll drop it up in the corner. But the key to wet cleaning your records and why I suggest you using cleaning solutions sparingly is you don't want to leave any residue on the record. It gets down in the grooves, it'll gunk things up. Your stylus will pick all that stuff up as it plays. So a microfiber cloth does the heavy lifting here. So unlike a towel or an old t-shirt or whatever you might be thinking of, this has, surprise, microfibers that dig down into the groove. And so all the wet cleaning kits that we have on uh, deafmanvinyl.com, they all come with some form of microfiber cloth. You can also find big packs at Home Depot or Lowe's is, is what I did. So let's clean a record. We're gonna take my, uh, my grungy Rolling Stone record. Uh, we'll place it on uh, you know, just a clean, flat surface. Resist the temptation to want to do that on your turntable. You actually need it down flat where you can put some, some pressure on it. So we're going to spray the record a couple of times. I'm going to hold it back and I want it all the way covered. So I've got, got record cleaning solution all around it. I'm going to take my microfiber uh, cloth. I'm going to come around that way, come around that way. Uh, be careful, you know, uh, if I get, get some on the label, I'm going to uh, brush that off real quick. So I'm going to go one way, and then I'll change my surface and come around the other way. And I'm going to pay special attention uh, to, to the edges. You know, those that edge has been touched by a thousand uh, thumbs over the years. So I'm going to go ahead and really give that some attention. And usually it's, it's kind of grungy. You'll, you'll see it come off on your cloth. So an extra step you can take if you're really worried about residue or, uh, you know, if you feel there's a ton of gunk in, on your record is to give it a final wash with distilled water. So your tap water has all kinds of minerals and suspended sediments in it, which will absolutely harm your records. So next time you're at the grocery store, you know, go, grab a jug of distilled water, not spring water, distilled water. And you can either soak a cloth in it, or I've actually got a, a, sp a spray bottle that I keep just with distilled water in it. And I literally will just hit it like that till the water kind of runs off a little bit. And I know that's just extra, that extra step. Um, 
Just as important as the cleaning process is the drying process. You don't ever want to play a wet record. So I'll give them a kind of a final wipe uh, with my microfiber cloth, flip it around a couple times, make sure I get that good and dry. And um, then set these things out to air dry. So I use um, this, it's just a dishwashing rack. I found it at a secondhand store. Um, you can find these in the kitchen supply or online. And this one is uh, rubber coated, so I don't have to worry about scratches. So I'll go ahead and, and put those in there and just let them set for you know, 10, 15 minutes or so, and then slip them into a fresh inner sleeve. So one last way to clean your records is to give them a bath, literally. So you can use a bath record cleaning setup like this deep groove washer system from Vinyl Style. I'll be honest with you, I'm generally skeptical of gizmos and gadgets, but this one is pretty solid and the price is hard to beat. So this is really the only record cleaning machine we offer on our online store. I like it that much. But with a bath system, the record is actually passing through a basin filled with record cleaning solution. So with this one, it then passes between two soft bristle brush. It's goat hair in this case, go figure. But you make a couple of revolutions through the solution and the brushes gently sweep down into the grooves. Then you set it out to dry in the built-in rack. It's even set up so you can filter the cleaning solution and reuse it. So pretty sweet system. And while you're cleaning records, don't forget about your hardworking stylus. It's down there in the gunk every day. So hit it with a stylus brush before every play and use some stylus cleaning solution every once in a while. And that'll keep it nice and clean. So most of all, enjoy those sparkling clean records. They will sound better. As always, drop us a comment if you have any questions about caring for your vinyl. Love to talk records with you, and I hope you'll subscribe for more great videos on vinyl, turntables, and record care. Until next time, it's the Deaf Man saying, keep them spinning.